Today I wish to bring tribute to the great chess grandmaster um, of our world, Lubomir Kavalek. Born in Prague in 1943, sadly he died on the 18th of January 2021. So I pay tribute to this great grandmaster of chess that I grew up to admire from the informators and that that I would see his games in. So I never ever met this grandmaster of course being in New Zealand but I did get to see his great games of chess. So I wish to do very little talking now um, in, in honour of this great chess player. And I wish to bring two games. One has been programmed into chess base prior this video. And um, the other is what is likened or called his um, greatest or immortal game of chess, which is called the Cavalanche. So I will bring that second to this game and the the that game, the Cavalanche, was the Student Olympiad 1962 against the great um, grandmaster to be as well, Gufeld. But the first game that I bring you is from 1975 Amsterdam, or Amsterdam as the Dutch say it. The first game is against the great Grand Master of Holland or Netherlands, Jan Timmen. So Jan Timmen is white against Grand Master Kavalek here as black in the Sicilian Nardorf defence. So this was played in 1975 at Amsterdam.
And here is where Grandmaster, one of the top Grandmasters ever of the world back then, Jan Timmen resigned as white after rook d4. So the next game I wish to bring you, which really um, is just amazing, that's my opinion, of um, Grandmaster Kavalek, is the following game, where it's called the Cavalanche. Uh, what I particularly like about it is it's all about pawns. The soul of chess, as they have been called. So this is that great game. And this is just awesome. Uh, everyone will like this. Including me. So thank you, Grandmaster Kavalik. Here we go. This is a new game. I've got I've got to put my reading glasses on. So he's black here. This is the Student Olympiad 1962. And as mentioned, he is playing none other than um, Gufeld, who is just one person I have met uh, who I played against, where he played simultaneous, simultaneously or simultaneously here in Christchurch. And I lost. And it was a Spanish. And that happens to be what is right here. I think I played the Cozio, but against um, Grandmaster Gufeld. Okay? I did play the Cozio. And I can remember Bishop d5 from white being played. And there was no look from there for black pieces, which were mine. Anyway... This is that game that occurred back then, which is uh, probably Grandmaster Kavalek's immortal game. Uh, but just have a look at this, okay? Now this is the Spanish game classical variation, and I say it's the Cordell Gambit. So if I mispronounce that, I do not do that purposely. Now comes the best move on the planet, which is, of course, f5. And then we have d4. This is really feisty. If there's ever a, a feisty game of chess, then this is it. Now it looks pretty reasonably normal. Anyone can possibly play these moves. But now comes a move that, that isn't considered the best move for white here. But who would be able to tell, frankly? Who would be able to tell that d5 isn't the greatest move for white here? So black now plays e3. And this, of course, is threatening the knight on g5 so the knight comes back to e4 and out comes queen h4 and now we attack the knight twice of course on e4 so knight f6 occurs and g f6 now comes the um, point dc6 check I mean, not check because EF2 is check. And this has King D1 and DC6, which threatens Bishop G4, among other things, and also CB5. That's probably quite a, that's quite possibly a, a move for black, um, white here. But white played bishop e2. Preventing bishop g4 uh, pinning the queen on f3. And that is move 13, bishop e6. Queen h5, swapping off the queens. Queen h5, 
Bishop h5, check king e7. So at the moment, black has a very strong f2 pawn, uh, but is a piece down, is a knight down. But black has all eight pawns comparative to white's five. So most players would probably like to be white here. After king e7 was b3, which um, threatens bishop a3 check and c4, c5 to stop the protection of this f2 pawn, I think. Bishop d5 and bishop a3. Now comes king e6 and bishop g4, f5, but of course. So here comes another pawn off. Uh, white wants to play knight c4. So we have bishop g2. Rook g2. King e2. Here comes a, a, a pinnacle point in this game, played back then in the Student Olympiad 1962 by this great grandmaster to be. So now we have a fantastic move is rook d2 taking the knight an exchange sacrifice but of course king d2 what else and e4 this is just threatening e3 and or just king to e5 and etc f4 etc and that sort of thing so here we go i will not do any more talking now What a game. So thank you, Grandmaster Kavalek, for these beautiful games of chess and etc. Thank you.